But um, yeah, I know I, I just couldn't stop uh, talking about this album before. It's definitely, it's insane. My my review was like two pages long, which isn't my normal length that I that I write out. But um, yeah, yeah, Atoma, fucking Atoma. Well, you know, one of the things I I think is is worth mentioning about this band is they're only a three piece band. All right, don't uh, don't curse at me, all right? Oh yeah, the, yeah, the band three, yeah, yeah, three piece band. That's that's even crazier when you think about you know the, kind of the the the, the s- massive sound that they're putting out, and it's only three three dudes. Well, Dan Klein does it it's one, so that's right. You're right. That's a good point. So really, three is like a lot. <laughs> three, it's but, a magic uh, number. Yeah, mm-hmm. yes, it is. Um, so moving forward, you have another one. Yep. I believe, right, that you, I guess you want to talk about? I could talk about it. Uh, the band is called Balaam? It is called Balaam. Uh, this is a band from Rhode Island, the smallest state in the country. Really? Rhode Island. Yep. And uh, if you ever sit back and you say, man, I wish bands these days could do what bands like Black Sabbath were doing 30 years ago. Yeah. Oh, I thought about that, actually, like thinking, you know, what about what's gonna happen when like all these old school like amazing bands when they really do retire, you know? Are we gonna have anything new? Is there anyone that's gonna keep up in that genre? Well, Balaam is the answer. Yeah. This is a, it's, it's a doom album, mm-hmm. but it's kind of psychedelic and it's got a lot of classic metal feel to it. That's cool. Um, it's only three songs, but it's over thirty-three minutes of music. Wow. Um, what, I think they're Swallow the Sun or something? <laughs> this is... I think the crazy part is that it's really... It's really dense. You know, a lot of chugging guitars. The bass is always constantly rumbling along. The, the drums are great. The recording is really... Is really clear. Mm-hmm. But in... A very classic metal sound. Like, it's not like they recorded it, you know, in a tin can or anything. But, yeah. you know, it, it has that kind of weird airiness that Sabbath did back in the day. Yeah. But, I mean, this is just... It was a great album, absolutely great, and it really every song came by, and even the vocals. Not that he sounds like Ozzy, but he has a style kind of like Ozzy, and just mm-hmm. the way it all came out was just really, really awesome. I have to, I have to check this out. Is there any word that they're following up on this EP? Uh, just came out. It okay. literally just came out. I think they posted it, you know, two weeks ago. It's on their Bandcamp site, which is uh, Thy Balaam at band, you know, are they, Bandcamp.com. Are they a young band? And by young, uh, I mean they you? they are actually young, from what I can tell, okay. um, based on the. Uh, looking at them, they they look like they must be like just out of high school, kind of young or early twenties, kind of young. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me on that, mm-hmm. please. He's talking to you guys, pointing to you, not me. Just saying. Yeah, no, not you. Don't yeah. you, you there. Um, so definitely give them a listen. It's a self titled, uh, self titled affair. All right. And uh, last but not least, last one on the list for this week, and then we'll probably just shut up. So, uh, <laughs> this band in mourning. In Morning. In Morning. Who you apparently have known about for yeah. quite some time. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, I, however, have just come across them for the first time. And uh, the name of the album is uh, The Weight of Oceans. Probably pretty heavy. Yeah, that's what that's what, uh, <laughs> that's what what grabbed me right away was, you know, I like things that have to do with the ocean and mermaiders and things like that. And, uh, you know, they got this big, like, uh, sea monster on the front cover. And, I knew a guy who uh, had a. He used to do an electronic project, and he had a, a song called "The Weight of Water." The weight of water. It's good. Well, that's not these guys, but oh, uh, sorry, <laughs> I got distracted. So there's a band. It's called In Morning. Yeah, and um, they actually, first of all, the album's amazing. Let me just get that out there. It's fucking incredible, but um, they definitely have like that sound of insomnium oh it reminded me of oh. a lot of it uh and some of their like song structure in their drums and guitar chugging reminded me of structures from opeth actually oh so yeah they kind of <laughs> they're, they're all over the place and on top of that i mean you know for death metal this it's progressive death metal but it's death uh, metal. yeah it's they have like you know this deep growling, this uh, you know this dark ominous growling, and then uh, like halfway through the album, they kind of introduce uh, a clean singing uh, vocal, and 
it really works out for them. Um, I mean, basically, the album starts out with this band, Colossus, or the song called Colossus. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> it starts it, out with the band. The In Morning <laughs> album, Way to Motion, starts out with the band. band. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the song, the song called Colossus, which has this, uh, they have these, they include these keyboards that are uh, almost like, Techno type synths also kind of. What the fuck is it. with you in this techno shit? Like? It, dude, it, it really does. It's not. It doesn't sound. It's not metal, but it's. It really works out. And then uh, this really catchy like, like drum roll comes in, and you know automatically you just start bobbing your head. You know it's all good and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then some guitars come in and they blow your balls off. And <laughs> you're all about getting your balls blown off. Yeah. Um, but no, seriously, it it's definitely. I was stuck on the first track. I def I had have to say I, I listened to the first track probably ten times in a row before I even considered listening to the rest of the album. That's how good it was. Well, wow. so for for those of you who are that think they're going to be iffy about it, just listen to the first track. That's all you need to hear, and you'll be blown away. the The whole album, front to back, is uh, is excellent. Um, later, they even include like this uh, piano instrumental, like in the middle. Uh, it's almost like a intermission for the album, kind of. You know, give you okay. give you some time to, uh, you know, catch your breath and rest grab up a little popcorn. bit. Grab some popcorn. Go to the bathroom, <laughs> and uh, but it, I mean, it was beautiful. Still, it's uh, it's definitely it's great. Give it time to give someone the varg. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you definitely you could give someone the varg during that <laughs> piano instrumental, um, but definitely, you know, th- this album you have to you have to pick up. I know you're you're saying like oh you just told me to pick up Atoma but this one is another one that you have to pick up as well. Basically, you have to pick up both is what you're talking. Yeah. So every album we've talked about this time, you have to pick up all of them. We yeah. require you to do that. Yeah. There's there was no bad uh, band reviews that we did really this week. No. Um, or at least the ones that we're talking about now. Um, so yeah, you have to pick them up, or else you'll get arrested by the uh, death clock police. Um, so on that note, that pretty much sums up what we had to talk about here for today. Is there uh, is there anything that you need to follow up on here, uh, Daryl? Nah, last... man. I just think it's time for us to just just sign off and just start giving out the Varg. Oh, you know, I don't think they know what the Varg is, do they? Oh, <laughs> shit! Oh my God! We didn't even. <laughs> oh, we didn't even qualify this. I'm sorry. Uh, the Varg actually is. Um, God, I feel so weird saying yeah, this. It's but a it's, it's, uh, it's, the new sex position yeah, where you oh my god how do I say this you draw a mustache and goatee on your lover and then mail them a bomb it's the new craze going on in uh, in Europe we hear don't um, be surprised when you're you know in bed with your lady friend and she asks you to oh <laughs> give me the Varg oh you don't give me the Varg <laughs>